Congratulations on your purchase of Emolens, an intriguing new kind of software that detects and adapts to your emotions thanks to the emotive Epoch 14 electrode consumer EEG headset. Emolens turns Flickr photo browsing into a far more natural and intuitive experience. With the help of the Epoch headset, Emolens automatically detects your emotions while browsing Flickr photos and tags those photos with the emotions detected. This is the main Emo Lens viewing screen. Over here is the search parameters status area. It tells you what kind of photos are being displayed in the cool iris wall. As you can see now, the wall is filled with astronomy photos. Emo Lens uses the cool iris wall to display Flickr photos in a convenient table view. To scroll the wall left or right, you use the Epoch headset's gyro, which can sense head movement. This meter is the gyro meter. As I turn my head to the left or the right, the meter reflects that movement. To initiate scrolling, you turn your head to the far left or far right until the gyro meter lights up red in that direction. Since I am at the start of the photo stream, if I turn my head to the far left, I will see the wall shake. This tells me that I've reached the last set of photos in that direction. If I turn my head to the far right for a short moment, the wall scrolls one time to the right. However, if I turn my head to the right again and hold it, the wall will continue to scroll until I turn my head back to center. Sometimes Emo Lens will get out of sync with the position of your head. Although I am looking straight at the screen right now, Emolens thinks my head is turned to the right as you can tell by the gyrometer. To fix this, all I have to do is shake my head no. When I do this, the quick calibrate form pops up. All I have to do is stare straight at the form and hold my head still for a moment, and everything is in sync again. The gyrometer is now all black again, indicating that I am looking straight at the screen. Note, the Quick Calibrate feature only works when you are in the normal viewing mode. Beneath the gyrometer are the threshold sliders for the meter. These sliders control how far you have to move your head to trigger scrolling. The closer the sliders are to center, the less distance you have to turn your head to enter the red zone and therefore trigger scrolling. The further they are from the center, the more you have to turn your head to trigger scrolling. Adjust the sliders until the amount you have to turn your head to trigger scrolling is comfortable. Note, the sliders move in tandem so you only have to adjust one or the other slider. If upon returning your head to center, after turning it to far left or far right, the gyrometer seems to blow past center and enter the red zone in the opposite direction, then you need to move the sliders away from the center to make Emo Lens less sensitive to head movement. During the basic configuration wizard, you will teach Emo Lens what thought pattern or feeling you want to use to summon the Tag Cloud Viewer, which is the part of the software that helps you search for photos. That thought pattern or feeling is known as the summons. Over here is the meter that shows you the strength of the summons. The harder you concentrate on the summons, the higher the meter will rise. When it gets to the level marked by the threshold slider, the Tag Cloud Viewer appears. This is the Tag Cloud Viewer. It will be explained in detail in a moment, but for now, I'm going to shake my head no to exit it so I can go back to the cool iris wall. Note, the trick is to set the summons meter threshold to a point where it will only trigger when you really want to bring up the Tag Cloud Viewer, not by accident. If you are having trouble with the summons, use the basic configuration wizard to do more training or to try a different thought pattern or feeling for the summons. This is the viewing mode status bar. It tells you which of the three viewing modes Emo Lens currently is in. The cool iris wall starts out in normal viewing mode, which is the mode you have been learning about so far. To change viewing modes, I just nod my head yes. We are now in photo selected mode. In this mode, the photo that was at the center of the cool iris wall is zoomed so I can have a closer look at it. I can scroll to the next photo by turning my head to the right. 
and to the previous photo by turning my head to the left. I'm going to nod my head yes again to enter slideshow mode. Over here are the emo meters. There is one meter for each of the mental states emo lens can detect with the help of the Epoch EEG headset. Interesting, happy, and funny. As you can see, each meter also has a threshold slider just like the summons meter. In slideshow mode, the currently displayed photo will advance every few seconds with one very powerful, important difference. The slideshow will adapt to my emotions. Watch what happens when I come across a photo that makes me smile. The Epoch headset detects the emotional activity and the happy meter begins to rise while the slideshow is automatically paused so I can enjoy the photo. When the meter signal strength reaches the threshold, the red LED below it blinks to let me know that the photo has been tagged as being a happy photo, an action that writes a record to a local database that keeps track of all the photos I have tagged with emotions while using Emolens. This operation is known as emo tagging a photo. Emolens also stores the topical nature of the photo, which in this case is an astronomy photo. Once my interest in the photo subsides, which you can tell by the declining activity in the emo meters, the slideshow resumes and starts advancing photos automatically. All of this happens without any effort on my part, thanks to the power of the Epoch headset. Remember to set the emo meter threshold so that a photo gets tagged only when it really sparks a strong emotion in you, not by accident. To exit slideshow mode, I just shake my head no. This takes me back to photo selected viewing mode. If I shake my head no again, I go back to normal viewing mode. When you are at the cool iris wall, nodding your head yes takes you to the next viewing mode. Shaking your head no takes you back to the previous viewing mode, except when you already are in normal viewing mode. In that case, it will trigger a quick calibrate operation. It's time to explain the Tag Cloud Viewer, so I'll summon it now. When the Tag Cloud Viewer first pops up, it is in search mode. In this mode, you use it to search for photos. Currently, the viewer is loaded with two choices, Explore Tags and Subcategories. To select a choice, you rotate the Tag Cloud Viewer until that choice is front and center using the E cursor. The E cursor responds to head movement via the gyro. The trick is to move the e-cursor towards the choice that you want, which in this case is Explore Tags. When I do this, the Tag Cloud Viewer rotates towards the e-cursor, bringing the Explore Tags choice towards me. Once it is reasonably close to the center, the Explore Tags choice is highlighted in red, indicating it is the selected choice. Now all I have to do is turn my head and move the e-cursor close to dead center. This triggers Emo Lens's Magnetic Cursor feature. Once magnetic cursor is on, the currently highlighted choice is pulled in until it reaches dead center. Once it reaches dead center, I am asked to confirm the choice. I nod my head yes to accept explore tags as my choice. This causes the Tag Cloud Viewer to reload itself with the latest list of Flickr's most popular tags. Using the exact same procedure I just described to you, I'm going to select cats as my choice. I nod my head yes to accept cats as my choice and in a moment, the cool iris wall is reloaded with cat photos. In the past, you have searched for photos using keywords, but with Emo Lens, you can search for photos by emotion. To do an Emo search, you summon the Tag Cloud Viewer, so I'll summon it now. Here's the Tag Cloud Viewer again in search mode. Over here, you can see the same emo meters that you saw in slideshow mode. Instead of rotating the Tag Cloud Viewer to select a choice, I'm going to trigger an emo search. Watch the meters as I think of the photo that made me smile in slideshow mode near the start of this video. As the feeling washes over me, the happy meter begins to rise. Once it reaches the threshold, it triggers an emo search. 
Emolens now asks me to confirm the search for happy photos, which I do by nodding my head yes. This causes the tag cloud viewer to reload itself with the Flickr tags belonging to all the photos that were emo tagged with the emotion happy while I was in slideshow mode. Since the photo was an astronomy photo, I will select that tag and nod my head yes to confirm it. This makes Emolens search the database of emo tagged photos for happy astronomy photos. And over here is the astronomy photo that made me smile earlier. This is the real power of Emolens and effective computing thanks to the Emotive Epoch headset. It automatically adapts itself when in slideshow mode to your emotions, automatically tags interesting Flickr photos with your emotions, and allows you to search for photos using your emotions instead of just keywords. You are now ready to get started with Emolens. Please enjoy the product, and if you have any questions, visit AndroidReview.com. Tell your friends about Emolens and the Emotive Epoch EEG headset too. Thank you for watching.